Grade 3 math, number 54, divide by 10. We've been doing lots of division lately, and now we're doing the tens. Here's what I want you to remember. When you're dividing by 10, it means you split the number into 10 equal groups, or you put 10 in each group. You find how many times 10 can fit into that number. So let's look at the first one. Whoops. 10 goes into 30 how many times? 30 divided by 10. You can count by 10s, and whatever number of fingers are left, that's how many times it fits. Let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30. 3. 10 goes into 30 three times. The reason I put it above this zero is because we didn't say 10 goes into 3, we said 10 goes into 30. Now what we do is we multiply it, 10 times 3, and we get 30, and we write it down here, and we do subtraction to get 0. This is a complete long division problem. If you only put the answer up here and you don't do this bottom part, then you didn't finish it. You have to do this to finish it. In sentence form, you can just write the 3 and you're done. Okay? Let's try this one. 40 divided by 10. Let's count by tens on our fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40. 4. Again, I put the 4 above the 0 because we're not saying how many times can 10 fit into 4. We're saying it fits into 40. And that lets everyone know that we put the 4, the 10 went into the entire 40, not just the 4. Now we need to multiply. 10 times 4 is 40. We do our subtraction, get 0, and we're done with that one. 40 divided by 10 is 4. Now another way we could have done it is the subtraction method where we started with the 40 and kept taking 10 away until we got to 0 and then counted how many times we did it. We would do it 4 times to get to 0 so the answer would be 4. How about this one? 50 divided by 10. How many times can 10 fit into a 50? Five, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 5. 5 times. 10 times 5 is 50. We do our subtraction and we get 0. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 60 divided by 10. 10 can fit into 60 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 6 times. 10 times 6 is 60. We do our subtraction and get 0. 60 divided by 10 is 6. Okay, got a couple more. 10 can go into 70 how many times? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 7. We're going to do 10 times 7 and get 70. We're going to do our subtraction and get 0. 70 divided by 10 is 7. Look at this one. 100 divided by 10. How many times can 10 fit into 100? Do you know how to count by 10s and get to 100? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It took 10 fingers. So 10 divided, 100 divided by 10 is 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10 because 10 times 10 is 100. How would you write it on here though? We put the 10 into the entire 100. We need to go this way as far as we can with our answer. So our answer would be written like this. It wouldn't be written over here because that means we put 10 into 10. We put it into the entire 100 so we want the ones place of this to line up with the ones place of that. 10 times 10 is 100. We do our subtraction and get 0. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost done. 20 divided by 10. If you had 20 and you divided it into 10 parts, you would get 2 because 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 goes into 20 2 times. 10, 20. 10 times 2 is 20. We do our subtraction and get 0. Now I'm going to show you a quick trick. Did you notice that the answer in all of these is the first number of that number with 10s? 
20 has a 2, the answer was 2. 70 has a 7, the answer was 7. 60 has a 6, the answer was 6. 80 has an 8, the answer is 8. 90 has a 9, the answer was 9. So that's another quick way of looking at the answer for dividing by 10. Remember this, it works for any number. You would take away the 10 and put in whatever number you're doing it, which is what we're going to do, and that's how you divide by 10.